You talked about uh, medicinal marijuana being part of your sure. sort of repertoire. Sure. First of all, do you foresee that long term as being something that becomes more acceptable in, in the American culture and American, po American sort of legal system? It's already been uh, become more popular and I think it's now 85% of respondents agree that doctors should have the right to be able to prescribe a medication for their patients that they know works, whether it, it be this or anything else. So I think people agree with that. We see now, I think there's over 21 states that have some sort of legislation involved. So yes, do I see legalization happening or things like that changing? Yes, but I also see smarter minds finally doing the right thing. This is a plant-based medication, okay? It's now almost 90 years, and we haven't done the appropriate investigation and research into this plant to do the right thing. Now it's been why? done. Why? But why? Because of ridiculousness. Let's make sure, I, I've been on here and talked about this before. The truth of the matter is, excuse me, marijuana was never made illegal because of any kind of a drug attitude. It was made illegal because of the Marijuana Tax Act, because we couldn't control it over interstate lines, and you had a, had a guy back in the, in the day, 19, 30, well, really, it was 1929, I think the first time he spoke out, and then 31, he spoke out again. A guy by the name of Anslinger, who was our first, if you will, attorney general, kind of. Yeah. And this clown stood on the congressional floor and said, marijuana makes white women want to have sex with Mexicans, and you know what. So that's his whole reason for vilifying marijuana. So, now let's jump forward. There's companies in the UK. There's a company over there right now that is called, um, um, uh, uh, Bedger Cam is who makes their things, a company over there, I'll give it to you in a minute, that has a product that's coming in right now uh, called Sabatex that will be coming into the United States uh, for, it's a sublingual spray made from real marijuana, not like Marinol made from a, a synthetic. Right. And so this is going to get FDA approval in the next year and a half. And as that happens, then we will have more U.S. companies doing what they appropriately should do, and that's research a plant and realize it has so many medicinal properties. And we're already doing the research. You know, the right. federal government pays for the research, right? You well, know that's that? the irony of it, yeah. Let's get it straight. We do it in, at the University of Mississippi in the United States, but we also paid for research on marijuana in places like Israel. Dr. Mishulam, last year we gave him the number one NIDA award for mm -hmm. his identification of CBD. So. It's in my repertoire, but I got to tell you something. In the last now full year in my life, and I might I'm, I'm tell you straight up truth, my marijuana usage has gone down, and gone down by about 65 percent. Hmm. And the reason why is because I've been dealing with a lot of other ways to mitigate my pain and help with some of my symptoms. For those who may use it, and there's, there's also we're starting to find out again that there are components of that plant that have nothing to do with any psycho psychotropic anything, yeah. CBD, that can give you some cessation. And I'm starting to find ways to get a lot of that in. And we have products that have CBD in it right in the marketplace. Yeah. That's legal.